Blue Ghost is arguably one of the most intriguing electronic artists working in the UK at the moment. Definitely put out an interesting uh, amount of albums so far and EPs and other side releases that he's been doing that definitely make me wonder where on earth he's going to go next. He's definitely one of those artists I don't think anyone can really predict what they're going to give you next. And obviously that doesn't necessarily speak to the quality of the music because I think while his music is pretty interesting and pretty cool and relatively original as well, um, I wouldn't necessarily, necessarily say everything I've heard is something that I totally love. But he's certainly one of those names that I'm always looking out for and really think the future holds um, a place that I want to be a part of. I, I want to be in a future that Igloo Ghost's music lives in. Uh, it just needs to happen. There, there needs to be more Igloo Ghost. And this new album matches that exactly because we have once again got a new world of Igloo Ghost weirdness that is all being <laughs> intertwined in this album with all kinds of wonky deconstructed club i guess you could call it um electronic progressive electronic isms that are paired with this weird twisted modern classical uh nature that i i, I don't think <laughs> is something that i'm gonna quite grasp even years down the line there is something about what he's doing on this album that i really respect because i think it's not going to be something i fully appreciate at this moment in time in the same way that i might in a few years i could totally imagine going back to this and really realizing like what he was trying to do here because at the moment i do like it but i think with the way that it leaves me in a state of confusion it stops me from fully attaching myself to it there's this bizarre strange aura surrounding the entire thing in a very unsettling way when you get those little vocal features and vocal snippets that come through it is really like sitting through a horror film because it just gives you that weird unnerving ugh-ness like chills that you get when you know Michael Myers appears out of nowhere in the first Halloween film and you're looking in the background and yet every now and then you just kind of get a glimpse of him and he's just driving past in a car looking at Laurie Strode. Is that her name Laurie Strode? Yeah, Laurie Strode. Um, just everywhere she goes. Really, really weird. And I feel like this gives me those same sensations, if you could even call them sensations, because it's probably uh, more of a, of, a, of a horrible feeling than anything else. I like the classical elements. I think that is a really interesting way to take your music. In fact, Chapelier Fu did a kind of similar thing last year with both of his albums. Please check out Chapelier Fu's music, certainly worth your time. And another way of kind of twisting and intertwining modern classical uh, types of music with electronic and more progressive electronic stuff, although Eagle Ghost is taking it in a weirder direction than Chapelier Fu did. It adds an interesting dynamic, particularly on tracks like Big protector where I think the violin really uh, sinks you into the atmosphere really nicely. It's a really uh, solemn melody that it's playing and a really solemn feeling that it gives you listening to it. I, I think this is one of the best tracks that manages to combine both worlds because you still get those weird quirky electronic splashes bouncing in the background uh, while obviously the, the track is driven more by the violin. Now I think this is where some of the potential is lost a little bit because I think more of these tracks could have been driven by this kind of uh, modern classical feeling. A track like Amu has this really despondent feeling to it with the childlike vocals and the kind of like, uh, I guess, haunted choir sort of feeling to it that's playing. But I think you could... Um, add to the emptiness with perhaps more of the kind of modern classical elements that could come in and kind of take the track on a, on, on a weird journey. I feel like he had a bit of an opportunity there to just kind of um, play around with these ideas a little bit more. I still think the track is good, by the way, but I'm just thinking what it could have sounded like if some of the elements that you take from Big Protector, for example, were more prominent in a track like Amu. And then there are moments like Soil Bolt where the impact is so low 
that I'm just really not getting anything out of this. Perhaps depending on your, your you know, perspective or the ears that you have listening to this, uh, you could be really taken aback by something like this, but I personally just don't think it goes anywhere. And again, another moment where I feel like if you'd added a few more of those elements that were really shining through on the previous tracks, you could have had a great, 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 great moment here. I really like uh, Pure Grey Circle though. I think this is a really good track, really bizarre way of like slowing down um, the wonkiness that usually is prominent on his other stuff. It's like you took a track from Neo Wax Bloom, slowed it right down to a snail pace and just gave it this weird feeling to it. Um, that That's exactly what you'd get here. Again, there are those little details in the production that I find really interesting and quirky, just as what you'd expect with uh, Igloo Ghost. And I like how he can, you know, completely um, subvert your expectations because given what the direction of Neo Wax Bloom was like, you'd think one of the earlier tracks would be that kind of like speedy, manic craziness that's constantly changing and constantly progressing and yet this track is one of the earlier tracks on the album and it just doesn't give you that at all. I think Baby provides a pretty nice feature on the track U Birth. We've heard Baby on previous tracks linked with um, excuse me, Igloo Ghost before. Not one of the most um, immediate ones, I don't think, but I don't think this album's meant to be immediate. I think it's meant to test your patience really more than anything else. Closing track is very eerie. Um, once again, that slowed down wonkiness that you've been getting on some of the other, other tracks. Um, that eeriness is really you know, pertinent throughout this whole album, which is which is what I've already made the point of. So I think this album definitely could get you in the right mood. Maybe if it's like uh, an autumn evening or a winter's evening or something like that, and you know, it's very dark and it's very, it's very, uh, it's a very moody atmosphere. I think this album probably could hit a bit harder in that context. But I like what I'm hearing. I mean, this has been a bit of a confusing review because so much of what Igloo Ghost is doing here is just quite confusing. But hopefully I've, I've you know, reeled off my thoughts in a way that's quite cohesive and you guys understand where I'm coming from. Uh, but again, I think in a few years, this could hit harder than it is right now. But I think it's good. I like what I'm hearing. I think it's an interesting direction. Once again, uh, an artist at the moment that I think it was really willing to just take music in a way <laughs> in a way in a direction that not many other artists are willing to do and willing to achieve. I like it though 6.5 out of 10 from me it's definitely a solid album and I definitely want to know your thoughts on this as well. Tell me your thoughts in the comments if you think it's better than I've said it is. If you disagree with some things I've said would love to hear your thoughts on that as well. Thank you for watching do subscribe if you have not already. Have a good day and goodbye.